Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Software Automation Experience. As most of you know that my name is Altaf Hussain Huddar and today I am back with another most useful video of how to read data from a JSON response. This is most important since all of the applications uh, built around JSON using the JSON response, use JSON, JSON uh, uh, coding and all. So we need to know about how to extract the data from the JSON response to validate the application, to validate the functionality and to validate the data stored into any of the application. So at the end of this video, you are going to uh, have the capability of write the code to extract any kind of JSON data from the JSON response. So keep watching till the end so that you don't miss any bit of it. Let me start uh, by creating uh, a JMeter uh, simple suit for a, in a JMeter. So let me launch JMeter first. So if you want to learn how to do this, uh, to launch JMeter directly from any folder. I have the video in my playlist. You can go back and check that out. Okay. So just wait for one second so that JMeter is launched completely. Yeah. So we have the JMeter uh, launched successfully. Now uh, I will add a thread group inside into a test plan. So I'll give this name as uh, I'll name this as read JSON data from JSON response. Okay or read data from JSON response. Control S will save this. So let me add an underscore. So any of the file we create, there should not be any spaces in JMeter. So to avoid further hurdles, we create it in such a way. Okay. So this got saved with other scores. Now I'll add a simple uh, a controller, a simple controller inside it. Go to logic controllers right click on this uh, first of all right click on thread group go to logic controllers simple controller so inside this I'll add an HTTP request sampler okay so for this I'll uh, make use of a smile CDR so where we can create the resources different resources like patient observation diagnostic report and all so what I'll do is I'll copy this and paste here I'll pass the HTTPS as the protocol next IP address of this and the port number is 8000 so this will be the path this is a post request as we are going to create this patient so I'll pass the body data here copy this and paste here this is the body data which I've got it from some website so I'm just going to create this uh, patient okay so for that 
I also need an HTTP header manager. So go to right click on HTTP uh, request sampler, click on add and then config element and then HTTP header manager. So for this we need to pass a con content type as content type will be application slash fire plus json since this is a fire resource we need to pass this as a fire plus json okay and uh, i'll also add an assertion for this a response assertion so at the end of uh, the execution of this request you'll get the response code as 201 so in order to check that if we are getting 201 or not we'll add this response assertion and also we'll add a listener to it view results tree okay so let me execute this first of all clear all if there is any then click on start and just check if this request got executed this request got executed and as you can see this is the request body passed and this is the URL so what response we are getting we got this response resource type patient has been saved with the ID 288 and these things okay so as we have got the data in json format the response data we want to read this and we want to read a few of the details of such as some id of the patient and then some identifier system value and also identifier value the name of the patient given what is the gender and what is the birth date in order to read that let me add a post processor for this for this HTTP request so right click on HTTP request add post processor and choose JSR, JSR 223 post processor okay just move this upside so at the after a search after checking the response we have also uh, got the 201 as response hence the test case has passed we have got it in green color okay Suppose checking the response, I want to uh, read the data from the response, JSON response. So here, let me write some code so that I can read the patient ID uh, from the response. Okay. So for that, let me first import uh, the JSON path library. Import com dot jpeg dot json path dot json path this is in build library to read json uh, response okay so now uh, what i will do is i'll just read the response data and store it into a response like brief dot get response let me just show you this first read it report get a response data as string this is the inbuilt method which will read the response data as string and i need to store it as a string string response is equals to i'll store it into a response variable string variable response okay so next uh since i have to uh, parse it through and read it so let me just copy paste this data into a notepad file so that i can take you through this json file so if i want to read this id what I have to do is let me uh, 
create a search string for this first so my search string will be dollar since this is json uh, response and the value the uh, name of the variable i wanted dollar dot id okay so i can store this search string as a variable def id underscore search string this okay now let me read this to read this i'll make use of json path dot a read method where i will read the response for this search string id search string and i'll store it into a variable patient underscore id okay and what i'll do is i'll just print it off log dot info stored patient id is i'll just copy this and paste here so this will be printed now let me just check that to clear uh, the previous results just clear this and to see the logs click on this yellow uh, triangular and then click on start So as you can see the request got executed successfully and we have got the response as well okay but let me see what is the error in the logs so it has gone it has given no response no signature of method okay sorry this log.info has been written wrongly as enough let me just do this okay this should be log dot info now let me run it once again see the request got executed and we have the data see store patient id is 290 let me just show you this this was the request we sent and this is the response where we have the patient id as 290 and we have got it as stored patient id is 290 okay so this way we can read any of the data from this json response let me just uh, show you that this we have just read the id and uh, now where is our response so this is the response right if i want to read the system value system is inside one more uh, thing that is identifier and system and value if, uh, if you want to read what i can do let me just go back and write some code for it for that uh, i'll create a search string dollar dot I'll take identifier dot dot since we have two curly uh, two brackets one is square bracket one is another is curly brace so for that dot we give it as dot dot and dot dot identifier system okay this is my search string for identifier system let me store it as identifier system value system search string okay and let me search for it 
to search for this uh, search string in json response what i'll do is i'll again read json make use of json path dot read method where i'll search it in entire response uh, this keyword for this keyword and whatever value i get i'll just store it into a variable def variable which is patient identifier system patient identifier system value okay patient identifier system and now i want to display it so what is that value i Ident patient identifier value is this is the log message patient identifier system is let me just copy this and paste here okay save this just go to view results tree clear previous logs and everything and just start as you can see the request got executed and if you check in the logs we have earlier the stored patient id is 291 since it is 291 and then what is the identifier the identifier is this system ur and oid and 10.0.1 so this is the value patient identifier patient identifier system is this your NOID and with 0 0.1 so this way uh, we can read any kind of data uh, from the JSON response by writing just simple uh, few simple line of code okay hope this video is helpful for you guys so if you get stuck in somewhere uh, by doing this uh, please write it into a comment I'll just uh, get back to you with the solution and I'll try to help you and if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel uh, for further updates and click on the bell notification uh, so that you will get the notification uh, every time I post any new video of such kind so till the next video stay tuned guys Thank you.